Greetings, Kipsters. It's Miss Phillips, and I'm excited to be back with you for yet another lesson. Before we get started today, I have a quick question for you. What time is it? It's time for science, and I'm ready to work. I will achieve. I will succeed. I am great, Deb. All right, friends, on last week, we talked all about landforms. This week we're going to continue the conversation with Moby and Annie as they help us understand slow land changes. Here we go. We better hurry or else we'll be late to school. Moby, are you okay? Cool. The tree roots are breaking through the sidewalk. Yeah, I know sidewalks are made of hard rock, but rocks can change. Why do rocks break down? Weathering happens when rocks and minerals break down in nature. Weathering can happen in different ways. Sometimes the roots of plants can grow into rocks and split them apart. That's what happened to the sidewalk. Weathering also happens when wind blows sand against rocks. Over thousands of years, the rocks break down and change shape. Weathering can also happen with water and ice. Water can get inside of a rock and freeze. When water freezes, it expands or gets bigger. Over time, freezing water can make the cracks deeper and bigger, and the rock can break apart. Rocks are made of minerals, and water can change some minerals. Copper is a mineral found in some rocks. Over time, air and water can change copper and turn it green. In the right environment, weathering can help form caves. A cave can form when water runs inside cracks in limestone rock. Over time, the limestone becomes softer and breaks down. And holes can start to form. It can take thousands of years for a cave to form. How can land change? When rocks break down, they can be carried away to different areas. Well, when waves crash into rocks, bits of rock are washed into the ocean. Eventually, the weathered rocks break down into tiny pieces and become sand. Then the sand can wash away to different places. Erosion happens when rocks and soil are carried away by wind, water, and other forces. Rivers and streams can break down rocks and carry them far away. Over time, a river can wear away land to form a canyon. A glacier is a large body of ice that moves really slowly and picks up bits of land as it moves. Over millions of years, a glacier can wear away at mountains and leave behind valleys. Landforms look different because weathering and erosion have changed areas in different ways. People can change land too. Plant roots help keep soil in place. When people clear land for farms or buildings, Erosion happens a lot faster. The soil can wash away more easily. People also change land when they build roads or buildings. Land is always changing in different ways. You're right, Moby. The weathered sidewalk isn't too safe. Well, that's one way to make it safe. Now it's time to write about it. Grab a pencil and a piece of paper and answer the following question. 
Why do you think rocks at the beach are smooth? Once you have finished writing, go ahead and share your response with someone around you. Mom, dad, sister, brother, whomever, just share. Well, that's our time. It's been great connecting, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time, it's Ms. Phillips signing off.